I love Cherry Coke. And I especially love Cherry Coke Zero. Guilt free. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have another little makeup breakdown I wanted to do today. I actually was not even going to film today, but my husband came home from work early. I fell asleep on the couch watching some talk show that was just really lame and boring to me today. And I woke up in a pile of jewel. And then I felt so refreshed and just so energetic and nothing to do. The rain was coming in and now the storm has passed and the amount of time it took me to do my makeup because I'm not in a rush when my husband's here to watch the kids. And I decided, eh, I kind of like how it turned out, so let's film a video. Why not? And plus it can be a little bonus video. I've been trying, as you've noticed probably the past few weeks, I've been trying to get a video up Thursday and then Friday, Saturday as well. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday have been my upload days of choice for the past few weeks and it seems to be going okay I think do you guys like that I I mean Friday and Saturday I'm never gonna change because that's just how I'm doing it but Thursday is kind of like amping up for the weekend get your playlist ready I don't know about you but I like to make my playlist ready for long makeup getting ready sessions to just kind of let them play but anyways let's get into this because I have um, I want to go through what I'm wearing and what I'm playing with and I wanted to update you on a few things I purchased and then I got a few new things since my last haul because you know like I swear Sephora and all these other brands are just like spitting out new products left and right this summer and I can't keep up but I do pick and choose what I want to get so I want to share those with you so let's get into this oh, so good cherry coke zero it's extra good with a little cherry vodka <laughs> or vanilla, vanilla vodka, but mine's virgin tonight. So let's start with my face. I primed my face with the Rachel K CC Cream. I've just been using this a lot because I need to use it up. It's a few years old and it's not really breaking me out or anything, but I just, I'm rotating my makeup right now. We are on a mission to use things up before I purchase new things. This is one of them and, um, I don't even think you can buy that, so we're not going to stick on that for very long. Next, I didn't think I would be able to wear this shade right now because I was going to self-tan, and then I decided I'm too lazy to self-tan and don't want to deal with all that. So I didn't self-tan, and normally I cannot wear this if, I, if I'm if i not, so I don't know. It seems to match pretty well. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, the oil-free version. Cashew Beige, which is usually very, very yellow, and it's my summer color, but I must have a little bit of a natural tan to be able to wear this. Um, I don't even know what, I want to get this in another shade for winter. I'm not sure. I think it'd be one of the ivory ones, but, um, I love this. And I actually today, I didn't plan on filming because I, I expected my makeup to turn out like crap. You know, when you come upstairs to play, sometimes it just is not what you envisioned. Um, and so I, d I usually put on probably a little bit more for camera reasons, but good enough I didn't even put on as much as I usually do this is full coverage too and I've been using the um, it cosmetics airbrush OMG, OMG foundation brush to apply this no particular reason just like to change up my brushes and how I apply things so it's a beautiful fuller coverage foundation it doesn't have to be like super full it has a very like skin like finish it's very luminous I think not luminous like dewy, but it definitely looks, mimics the look of skin. It doesn't mattify you. It's not too, I don't know, it's just really pretty. I like it. It gives you a healthy glow, but yet yeah, coverage. So, love this, and it works pretty well applying this. I've used this foundation with Beauty Blender. I've used it with brushes. I've even used it with my hands, and I prefer a brush the most. Then on top of that, I buffed in the uh, Mineral Powder by Laura Mercier in the shade Natural Beige. And I actually used this under my eyes too to set my concealer. I just went to town with this because this brush. This brush is perfection with this powder. I believe I mentioned this on Friday's video when I was wearing the same combo. This is the Wayne Goss brush number 14. Beautiful brush for mineral, um, mineral foundation. This is a foundation, but I use it to set my foundation and to just give that extra level of coverage. This does not move around your foundation when you use this brush. It is, the bristles on it are so long and they're dense, but not too dense. They're fluffy enough that it can just like buff things around and it just airbrushes you almost. I love it and I really enjoy setting my face with this powder because it's not powdery. I, I don't even know if I've worn this just by itself as a foundation, but it gives just a little bit more coverage, you know, and it just, I don't know, it sets everything and it looks great. 
and I just realized I opened my blinds and I hope we're not going to be too bright here but we're rolling with it so um this is this is beautiful if you have this powder try this brush if you have it if you don't consider purchasing this brush because I'm really enjoying it I'm using it to just kind of like buff out harsh edges and everything it's just so soft it doesn't move your makeup around and I'm very um heavy handed. <laughs> I tend to choke up on my brushes, e like not even thinking about it. I just tend to get a little wild. This I can't go too wild with because of the way it works. It's amazing. So love that. All right. Concealer combo, still going strong with these two. I mix, they need to get used up. So we're mixing them to create the perfect shade. This actually is working pretty well now that I have a little bit of color to my skin. Shade 3 in the Estee Letter Double Wear. Really nice concealer, and I don't hear very many people speak of it. Um, I just tried it on a whim a while ago, and then I put it away <laughs> for whatever reason, because you get sidetracked with all these other new things that come out. Great coverage. Can't go wrong with the Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind. I used this cream highlighting kind of thing, and I like to mix them together for uh, concealer. So then I set, as I already said, I already set my face with this. I just like, it's easy if you just use like a multi-purpose product to like set everything. Um, then for contour today, which I don't go crazy with the contour, but I dug out my MAC Harmony. It is a matte blush actually. But for me, oh, I skipped my nail polish. Crap. We'll get, we'll get there in a second. Um, it's a little bit warmer to contour with. But I kind of like that because, quite frankly, I used the Kevin Aquan uh, sculpting powder the other day. And it creates a nice shadow. Don't get me wrong. <sighs> but if you don't be careful with that, you can have like gray, ashy, disgusting mess. I like this. It, it's a little bit more warmth, but it's summer. I mean, if you want a bronzy glow anyways, just use a little warmer contour. I, I, I usually skip con contouring, quite frankly, and just focus my bronzer a little more heavily in the areas where I want that shadow, but I like this. I think it's nice and it's matte, it blends out well, it is definitely a little warmer in tone, but that's nice, isn't it? I like it. Um, for my bronzer, I use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. My friend Jelena sent me this little one. I never have owned uh, th this in the past. I've had like, you know, those little tiny little samples that come with stuff and whatever. So that's the bronzer. So gosh, you could almost bronze your face with that if you wanted to. I don't know, I would, but I break the rules. <laughs> I kind of don't follow rules, I just kind of do my own thing. Um, all right, so let's touch on my hair quick. Um, it's dirty and it actually is, it's one of those hairdos where you work out, you shower, your hair gets wet, but you never comb it out, so it's a rat's nest. Yeah, so I threw it on top of my hair, hoping you wouldn't notice. On top of my head, not on top of my hair. But I'm going for that whole, like, princessy look. And sometimes I like dirty hair is best for uh, hair on top of your head anyways. Just because, like, throw it all up on there. Draw a little dry shampoo if you need to. Shimmy it on through. But anyways, that's my hair. Um, my And the reason I went there... <laughs> is because when I throw my hair up like this, I like to go bolder, like as in um, as in thicker with my brows because I have a high forehead. And I feel like <laughs> if I go thicker with my brows and heavier with my bronzer, it makes my forehead look shorter. Because, you know, there's a lot of distance between my brows and my hairline. It's a good ways to travel. So... The bronzer kind of like creates shadows and makes things seem smaller and then you bring your eyebrows up a little more. If anything, it gives you a very refreshed look. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I've had a little, I haven't had Botox, I need Botox. But like when you get Botox, it freezes things and it kind of gives you a little refreshed look because it kind of pulls things up. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, the Brow Wiz and the Brow Definer is what I did today. I like them together. I really do, and I use two different shades. The medium brown to kind of sculpt out its cooler, ashier in tone. I use that to drop, like shape my brows. Then I fill in with the chocolate, which adds the warmth because my natural brows are very ashy. And my hair, this is my natural hair color. It's, it can be a little bit warmer. So I like to mix the two. Because I don't want too ashy of brows, you know what I mean? I don't want them looking gray. All right. Nail polish before I forget. Again, I painted my nails this morning this color. 
and I've had this for a while. I don't know if I've ever used it before, but I love this color. It is um, Julep Helen, and it's a very soft, soft kiss of lavender, but it's basically a lavender pink nude. Oh my gosh, I love, I love it. I love it. It's a cream formula, and I was just like, on the first stroke, just smitten with this color. Now, I, I typically like those dusty lilacs and pale p pink shades anyways, but gosh, I love this. And I love Julep polishes. They're so easy to store. They don't take up a lot of space. They have some really unique shades. There is that. Now, we're moving on to the more colored phase of um, this look. So, let's start with the eyes. Mac Painterly, as always. Um, I used the Naked 3 palette today. Actually, I only used three shades out of here. I used all the matte shades. I used Strange on my brow bone, and then the two matte shades, which are Limit and Nooner, in my crease. And that's it, out of this palette. Just because I needed some matte shades. But the stars of the show are, I wanted to do like purples and pinks. Should we zoom you in? Let's do it. Let's make sure we're in focus because I feel like I did this last video and I forgot to like see look at my camera I need a new camera guys I'm, I'm so over this one see look at it just gets out of focus what the heck um I wanted to do like pinks and purples today because I knew I wanted to wear a very cool toned pink lip so I wanted to play off of that so I dug out my Tom Ford quad and this one I got from my sweet friend Lori when we did a swap um, a makeup swap, I think it was last spring, and she purchased this for me, and I love it. This is the shades, or, I mean, this is the quad Lavender Lust, and I think I used all four shades today. No, I didn't use this one. This is like the, some of the, his quads are like that formula that's like the Gelee eyeshadow formulation. Um, my new dip quad by him is that. This is his other formula where it's like the three shades and then the glittery top coat which I didn't use this today and I because I had another shadow I used instead but I'll just swatch these for you. They're very beautiful. If you like pinks and purples, um, gosh, where am I going to swatch these? These are great, great shades. So fun. I really like this um, icy lavender shade right here. Which one is it? This one. It's kind of like almost blue. So you have a dark purple, a bluish lavender, a pink and then like a sparkly, sparkly kind of top coat. So I dipped into these three shades. I put the deepest one in my outer V, this kind of in my crease and outer V, and this a little bit on my lid. I also took a little bit of this on uh, on the outer portion as well. Kind of wanted to do like a deep purple to light lavender to pink kind of ombre type situation. So I used that and then because I needed a little bit more lavender. I dug out my single shadow by Clinique called Lavender Out Loud. This is beautiful. If you love lavenders, you need this color. It is so pigmented too. I haven't used this in a while and when I put it on, I could not believe how lovely it is and it blends wonderfully. So that's Lavender Out Loud. And then the reason I wanted to do this look in the first place was um, NARS just recently released Last week, I think it was. I don't know. I got this end. Of, I ordered the first day that they came out. Um, Hardwired shadows. Now, do you remember the shadow outer limits? That was, I think, last summer's limited edition um, color. They're single. Well, this is that same formula. This is the shade Earth Shine, and I ordered this online before seeing them in the store. After I ordered this, I went to the store and saw all the other colors and. Oh, they're beautiful. There's a purpley one if you're into those. There's also another nice neutral. Also, remember the shade Stud, I believe, was from last year's fall collection Narses, or maybe it was Christmas or something. That was limited edition. Well, now you can get that. So if you had wanted that before and didn't bite the bullet, now you can. But this is so pretty. Now, today I did my eyes first because this does have some glittery fallout. I made the mistake on Friday when I was wearing Outer Limits to do my eyes uh, after my foundation and I did have glitter fallout, which, whatever, I have a little right here, but I don't care. <laughs> I kind of like that overly glitter look sometimes, and it's evening, so whatever. So here's Earthshine. It's, it's a very cool tone, kind of like a slight pink, but I feel like I wore this with, 
Well, I wore it with the Naked 3, but I didn't do all these purple colors. I, it was just a little bit more mauve, and I felt like it, it almost pulled more silvery there. So I feel like this is one of those colors you can really wear with whatever. You know what I mean? Just whatever you want to wear it with. But it is indeed a stunning, stunning color. So that was what I wanted to do. Now, let me just show you something else that kind of made me a little irritated. This is the NARS um, limited edition from last summer, uh, the duo in that collection, the Christopher Kane. And this is, um, what's this called? Parallel Universe. Huh. Hmm. Shockingly familiar. In fact, the other lavender color I just spoke of that they just released in these looks very similar to that, does it not? So let me swatch this. Now, if you did not get this duo and you wanted it, pick up Earthshine. If you have this duo, maybe you don't need Earthshine. It's up to you. There's a very, very slight difference. I think the formula is different. These are more of like eyeshadow where the hardwired is more glittery. But if you want a reason not to have to have one or the other, I don't know. This might be a reason, but if you're a junkie, you might just need it. Eyeliners today, I did the Kat Von D Trooper and the Mally Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner in Pink Champagne on my waterline just to give a little... I didn't want to do like dark on my waterline, so I did this icy pink color. And whenever I wear lashes, I like to have a black eyeliner at least on the top a little bit. I don't know, it just kind of conceals any mistakes you make if you don't get the lash all the way at the lash line. And I feel like when you do a, a really dramatic look, I need a little bit of liner um, along my lash. I just like it. I just like it. Now, I don't, if I'm going for like a softer daytime look, I, I would skip this. And I've been skipping it. But at nighttime, I just feel like the glamorous look needs a little bit of black eyeliner. I have no idea what my lashes are. I couldn't tell you because I took them out a while ago and I store my eyelashes in the uh, House of Lashes case. And so I went to open it up and you can see I got a bunch of lashes in there. Um, I think, think, these are the House of Lashes Pixie Lux lashes. They're either that or they're the, nope, I got rid of those because I, I thought they were too big. I was going to say they're either that or the Vegas Nay lashes the, by Eyelure. But I think I tossed those because they were too big for my eye shape and they were cumbersome and I just, I just, it couldn't. So I'm pretty sure these are the Pixie Lux. All right, back out we go for the rest of my face. Um, highlighter, I got a new highlighter. I finally got this. My friend Jelena told me I needed it. And I remember when it first came out thinking, man, that is beautiful. And every other time I go to Sephora, I always swatch it and I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> I didn't need another highlighter and I'm not even a highlighter collector, but this one I really like. So this is the Bobbi Brown um, Highlighting Powder in the shade Pink Glow. I thought this was limited edition and I'm pretty sure they made it permanent? I don't know. It's available now. That's all I know. So if you want it. <laughs> um, and I, I've been using the Wayne Goss 15 brush, his fan brush to apply it. And oh my gosh, this brush is so soft. Been really into fan brushes for applying my highlighter and I never used to. If you've been with me a while, you know I have always used um, either the NARS, what is that brush? Yashio brush or this one. I used to use this one all the time, and then for a while I was using the Morphe M501. But I'm kind of understanding why this is the way to go. I mean, it just it applies highlighter, but not too much, you know what I mean? And it's easy to blend it out, and I just I just love it. And then, for sorry, there is like, about 45 minutes ago, I had a hair land on my face. And I've been looking for it ever since, and it's making me crazy. Um, blush. So I didn't want to do a super bright blush. I pulled a couple things, but then I decided to just go with what I'd been wearing just this past week because I decided to pull my MAC palette out and set it on my desk. That's a great way to make yourself use something. Pull it out. Put it in front of you. You will reach for it. Um, I've been wearing MAC, or today I'm wearing MAC's Well Dressed, which I actually don't even really love this blush because it takes a lot of building up. Yes, honey? Um, just a minute, I'm almost finished. 
If you are medium skin toned, you might even have a hard time getting this blush to show up because I have to build it up and I'm not even, like I'm considered light skin, like pretty much in that light category. A little more fair in the winter, but for the most part I'm light skinned. This color is really pretty once you get it built up, but it's one of those really, really soft pinks. Almost like I consider like a nude pink because you gotta build it so much, it's it's like a, like a whisper of pink. Which pairs well if you're doing a really smoky eye. Where is it? Good lord, there it is. Just really, 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 really soft. Um, a little building required for that blush. It's not my favorite, but I kinda, it's like a love-hate thing. You know, you like it, but you don't reach for it because you know what it requires. So, um, that's my blush. And I set my face with Fix Plus, get rid of that powdery look, and then I dusted the Guerlain Meteorites all over my face, and you're not going to be able to see, but I can tell you, yeah, I can tell you, it's like, there's that hair, oh, I hate you, I can tell you I have a very ethereal glow going on, not like glittery, but there's just something about these, I don't know, like... I don't know, and I have the shade number two, Claire. There is that, my lips. So I lined my lips with the Dior Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Airy Mauve. Really great, cool toned lip liner. Works great if you wear cool toned pinks or even those kind of more lavender-y colors. Now I feel like you're too far away. See, I go crazy with this whole zooming thing. There we go. Um, a great, cool toned pink and um, I needed that because the lipstick I decided to wear today is is very bold and I actually decided to mute it a little bit. Um, I wore this in my Snapchat last week when I was at Starbucks drive through I decided to snap. Is my hair falling over? Good lord. Tilt your head to the side. Your bun falls with it. Um, this is the YSL Rouge Pure Couture number 22. I bought this because do you watch Real Housewives? I love Real Housewives. And Lisa from Beverly Hills always has super cool toned pink lipsticks on. She's light skinned like me with blue eyes and her hair is darker than mine. But she just looks so good in them and I'm like, that's out of my comfort zone. But if she can rock it, I wonder if I can. So I went to Sephora and I bought this color because I feel like this might be the same color she wears. I'm not sure. It is very bold. <laughs> Um, but the, I love the formulation of these. So creamy and the packaging is to die for. Looks so pretty on your vanity too. But I need a little bit more depth, I think. So I took out my ColourPop um, lippy stick in the shade Westie. This is a matte formula. I thought this was bold. Like I had this and I've worn this before, but I always thought this was bold. But it's not as bold. It's not nearly as bold as this color. So kind of put that in the corner and then this more in the center with the accession of right now where I just changed everything. I like that ombre lip look. I like where it starts dark and just kind of like, you know, fades to the center. I feel like it gives your lips some nice fullness. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you are new. Um, I'm just having so much fun with my channel lately. I love this new makeup breakdown series. It's just fun for me. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. <laughs> I feel like anytime I can get a bunch of reviews from somebody and see what makeup they're wearing and the look of the day, it's a win-win for everyone. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We will chit-chat tomorrow. Bye, guys.